Right now, even though we're in the fall season, the risk of illness from mosquitoes is still there. It's something to keep in mind as we learn of the first West Nile death in Marion County in six years. Emily Kinzer joins us live near downtown this morning with some advice from an expert about how to protect yourself and the uh, through the rest of the mosquito season, Emily. Yeah, guys, it's probably going to be a few more weeks before we get to that first hard freeze. That's typically when those mosquitoes die off. I did talk to a health expert who says they've recently seen an increase in mosquito bites because it has been a warm, wet summer. She said one in five people who get bit from the West Nile mos carrying mosquitoes will actually develop symptoms, and then only one out of 150 of them will actually have more severe symptoms. So, not super common. Typically, severe cases are seen in people over the age of 60 who already have chronic health problems. Once we get that first um, good hard freeze, our mosquitoes should should die off. We're seeing we're going to start seeing more and more of these diseases um, that are caused by ticks and mosquitoes because of, of our warmer temperatures due to t uh, climate change. And there's a couple of things you can do to protect yourself around your home. Make sure you don't have anything with standing water in it. We have seen quite a bit of rain the last few days and expected to see more as little as a bottle cap can be enough to become a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Now, when outside, wear a bug spray that contains 25% DEET in it and wear long sleeve. And it's also important to avoid being outside during those evening hours because that's when those mosquitoes that carry the West Nile virus are active. I know we all like to enjoy those evenings. Uh, especially when the fall rolls around, but just something to be aware of. Absolutely so. Emily, thank you. Nine minutes after 6 o'clock right now.